Hello and how are you all today? My name is Priyanka and let us discuss this question. It says an oil company requires 13,000, 20,000 and 15,000 barrel of high grade, medium grade and low grade oil respectively. Refinery A produces 100, 300 and 200 barrels per day of high, medium and low grade oil respectively. Whereas refinery B produces 200, 400 and 100 barrels per day respectively. If A cost rupees 400 per day and B cost rupees 300 per day to operate, how many days should each be run to minimize the cost requirement? Now here in this question, the data which is given to us can be written in in a tabular format. Now here we have the refinery. We are producing high grade, medium grade and low grade oil. And refinery A is producing 100, 300, 200 respectively and B 200, 400, 100 respectively. Our minimum requirement are 12,000, 20,000, 15,000 and these are the costs per day that are incurred by refinery A and B. Now, suppose refinery A and B should run for X and Y respectively to minimize the total cost, the mathematical form of the above LPP is to minimize Z, that is our cost function, let it be 400X plus 300Y as refinery A runs for X days and refinery B runs for Y days. Alright. Now the constraints that we have This is 100x plus 200y should be greater than equal to 12,000. Then 300x plus 400y should be greater than equal to 20,000. And lastly, 200x plus 100y is greater than equal to 15,000. Also, both X and Y should be greater than 0. Right. Now, the feasible region for the LPP has to be shaded. So, by making use of these constraints. Now, with the help of these constraints, First of all, we will be equating these constraints and find out the values for each and every equation. So, for the first equation, that is, on dividing this whole equation by 100, we have it as x plus 2y equal to 120. We have the points as Take x as 0, then the value of y is 60. And when we take the value of y as 0, the value of x is 120. Similarly, for the second one, we have now the equation as 3x plus 4y is equal to 200. Now, if we take the value of x as 0, the value of y comes out to be 
50 and when the value of y is 0, the value of x is 200 by 3. And lastly, for the third one, we have now the equation as 2x plus y is equal to 150. When the value of x is 0, the value of y comes out to be 150. When the value of y is 0, the value of x is 75. Now, we need to plot all these points on the graph and obtain three lines representing these three equations. So, all these three lines are represented, these three equations are represented here on a graph. Now, the feasible e region of the above LPP is represented by the shaded region in this figure. Now, here, the corner points of this feasible region are A2, that is, this point is A2, that is 120, 0. Then we have P, this is a point P, who's having the coordinates as 60, 30. And B3, this is a point B3, that is having coordinates 0, 150. The value of the objective function at these points are given in the table. Now here at this point we have the value of z as on substituting the value of x as 120 and zero, y as 0. We have it as 48,000. Here the value of z is coming out to be 33,000 and here it is 45,000. So we can clearly see that z is minimum when x is 60 and y is 30. Hence, the machine when x is 60 and y is equal to 30. Hence, the machine A That is, refinery A should run for 60 days and refinery B should run for 30 days to minimize the cost. That will satisfy all the constraints. Right. So, hope you understood this graph well. Do plot your equations very neatly and have a very nice day ahead.